lo sapevano se ne era scordate. Oh my god, he's dead. You know, of all the times I've seen folks get run over by vehicles, that guy screamed the least. Hi again, guys, and welcome back to the American Skee-Ball League. I'm the only one who competes. Some of y'all know I stream on twitch.tv slash quite on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That means I streamed last night, actually. You missed out. And a lot of the internet's funniest clips come from streams like the ones that I have. Stream clips often fall under the wide banner of live stream fails, which can mean literally anything happening on the stream, even stuff that went according to plan. It also bangs when you put it in a YouTube title, so here I am. We're gonna take a look at some of those. Before that though, did you know there's limited time merch available on maskedup.shop? The hoodie you're seeing right now is so clean, you could probably wear it while performing surgery. It's got that incredible stitched Mask Up logo on the front, so attractive, and this super in-depth and wacky design on the back. And this is literally your last chance to get it, it's only gonna be up for a few more days so it ships before the holidays. Go to mashedup.shop and get it right now before it's gone. Also, only half of you watching are subscribed, so subscribe with notifications on or get forcibly feminized. Hassan's chat advice doesn't work ever. Hassan's advice on dating is dog shit. The guy has the looks of a fucking Marvel Greek god, okay? It doesn't matter. He could sit AFK and eat a booger and he'd land the date. He, he would fuck on first date going AFK on a date. So why the fuck would I care what he says or what he does when he doesn't have to do shit? Hey girl, are you XQC? Cause I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. XQC is kinda right here. Like, look at Hassan. To get good at something, you have to practice at it. This man, I do not believe that this man has had to practice dating for one second in his life. It was handed to him on a silver platter like a steak dinner or some shit. I would much sooner listen to what XQC has to say about improving my love life because he's actually been in the trenches. Is that a backhanded compliment? I, I can't really tell. I don't give normal compliments often enough to know the difference. Either way, God knows I could use that advice. Give it enough time and 40 year old virgin will be used to describe me exclusively. You listen here, it's a choice. I'm the voluntary celibate. In fact, that if you donate all your pocket money for that month to- I know like at least two of them. So I know that this girl is Jenny T because she makes cool streams. So I know this one. I don't actually know this. I don't know this. I don't know this. A Pokemon, of course. I don't know this. This I think is Soda Poppin, but I don't remember like what exactly is it. This girl is like the one that says bad things, but she can get away with it because she has like a thingy. Huh, that's soda poppin', he says. This guy is who he's saying that is. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Honestly, I'm pretty bad with faces. It doesn't help that I like don't have one. The way I remember people mainly is by the clothes they wear, which makes it really tough considering people change what they're wearing every day. And considering the person reacting, the person he accused of being soda poppin' and actual soda poppin' were all wearing something gray, I could understand why you all thought they were the same person. This is why I just look the same everywhere I go. That way everyone always recognizes me. <laughs> hey guys, guys, look guys. Look at all the, look at all this furniture. Look at all this furniture. Ah dude. It's not it's not that great compared to my Holy fuck! Oh shit! Oh what the fuck! Oh yeah! I'm living in a metaverse! Oh! Oh shit! Like dude! What the fuck is dude? That's this one's captioned as XQC tries VR porn. And honestly, I could make a whole video just reacting to XQC clips. It is one of my favorite pastimes. He's such a fucking cryptid. He's like something straight out of an SCP article. Keter class. His world ending special ability is to always be able to think of some shit to say in any given moment. You will never find that guy at a loss for words. Meow. Is it taking me somewhere? Sorry, nothing, I, nothing happened, I'm okay. <laughs> this is why I think I would hate IRL streaming. It's like the worst possible intersection of your mindset as a Twitch streamer, where you have to be engaging and react strongly to things happening, and being in public. I would very quickly embarrass myself, because that usually happens when I go outside, and now I've managed to stream whatever it is I've shit myself over today to a couple hundred people. It's kind of my worst nightmare, if I'm being honest. Even over being murdered. You want, uh, I'll squirt right on your face, I'm squirting for you. You ain't got nothing on this here. Ain't got nothing on this, but yeah, yeah. Here, say back. Oh! Did you hear that shit, man? The clonk had a pitch to it. It was a proper note. When it hit him, it sounded like you took one of those boomwhacker note tubes your elementary school teacher would slap on the ground and just beat him over the head with it. If someone could figure out the logistics of turning one of those into a weapon, beating someone to death with those to the tune of the ESPN highlights theme would definitely be in the top ten best ways to go out. He's gonna take anything he can.
He's gonna break it. No. Hey! No. I don't know what that dude was thinking. He should have just kept recording and minded his own business beyond that. Like, come on. Watching a monkey commit a crime is great free content. Don't try to stop it. This is also not considering the stupid amounts of dangers he put himself in. When a monkey do, a monkey is gonna do. You don't get in the way of the monkey doing unless you want the monkey doing you. That is basic monkey watching etiquette. He's a fucking amateur. Hello. Yo, can you come help me? What you doing? Do you need toilet paper? No, no, I'm... I'm on stream. I I need you to wax my mustache. I thought you're in the bathroom. Why? <laughs> you usually call me on Discord if you're in the if you're actually on stream. Okay, I don't understand how that's a stream fail. Like I wish I had someone I could call for toilet paper when I'm out. When I need a new roll, I take the waddle of shame with my pants still around my legs and my ass cheeks still out in the open air to the closet where I keep them. If anything, it's a stranger request to have them come wax your mustache alive for your chat to watch. I guess the real fail here is that chat has a better understanding of how intimate Ludwig's relationship is now and perhaps that kills their parasocial hopes of ever being with him just a little bit more than it already was. Unrelated, but did you know G Fuel is having a buy one, get one free sale on their site right now? Limited time only. Use code QUITE at checkout for 10% off your order. Link in the description. It helps me out when you do, alright guys? You guys love me, don't you? You want to see me make money? Oh look, it's the person who's on TikTok to look at big mommy milkers. One more. You know what? I can respect someone who's willing to full commit to something like that, especially after it's too late to go back. He's thinking, you know what? She's taking pictures of me, so I'm already on the front page of Reddit. Might as well get my own screenshot. He saves the ad and he knows exactly what he's going to be doing after he closes out of OBS for the night. Mamma mia! Michael Reeves is a true theater kid. He was happy for a second because I really thought he pulled it off, and when the bit went the wrong way, his improv instincts were strong enough for him to stay in character. It would have been more authentically Italian, though, if he immediately beat the cake back into batter and frustration after fucking it up, though. <laughs> Daniel's sleeping on my screen, bro. <laughs> open my stream, open my stream! There's so many clever- <laughs> One of my favorite genres of gaming content is horror moments in non-horror games. And I think it's best when it's some shit that happens in multiplayer. Like, I got genuinely jump-scared while playing Halo the other day because mid-firefight, a guy turned a corner where I didn't expect him to be. I scream! It's moments like that where I feel the most like a bitch because it's the closest way to simulate how you'd react to some shit you really wouldn't have been able to see coming. In horror games, you're there to shit yourself. Like, you know what you're getting into. In Halo, I feel like I'm meant to be doing the scary. How the fuck am I supposed to read this? I was gonna do what the hell I wanna do. I love how Uzi's first thought when he thinks, fuck it, I'ma do what I wanna do, is to stand on the chair. Just start spinning, man, I'm a fucking tornado. It's the make myself taller instinct that every one of us short folk has at work. I guess standing on his money just wasn't gonna cut it for a Twitch stream, though. He let you down, but I will say, in, in my thoughts on it, they look pretty darn good for being a, a pretty new team. Mm hmm Dude, he goes on for like another 20 seconds, and I was just sitting at my desk hackling while writing this script. There's no words coming out, but the way Tyler 1 moves is so captivating. If I was in that call and saw that happening, I don't think I'd have the heart to stop him. I'd be too busy fucking studying him. Whatever was coming out of his gutter came out with conviction. I know he really believed whatever the hell he said. Just the music going in the back while he really aggressively <laughs> eats hair makes it feel like he's dancing. Monkey bellies. Jiggly. She does not like when I call her jiggly. Jiggly. Oh Damn, that's a paragraph in a college paper right there. Claim, proof, explanation, speed run of the argumentative process. You just can't get moments like that out of a scripted YouTube video, which is exactly why I avoid it. I'm trying to be as impersonable and unapproachable as possible on my platform. If I even get a whiff of someone enjoying my personality as a content creator, then I failed. Yeah. All right, cool. Who do y'all watch on Twitch? Uh, I haven't watched in a while, but I usually watch uh, uh, XQC a lot. Oh, XQC? 
Okay, cool. Who do you watch on Twitch? I watch Titty Stream. I was so convinced that the guy in the back working up the nerve to speak into the microphone was who the clip was gonna be about, but holy shit, my attention made a hard right when my brain caught up to what my ears were hearing. That clip probably made it back to the kid's mom. These things always do somehow, and I bet he doesn't watch much Twitch at all now. Short but satisfying bucket ASMR? The fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Don't lie, that shit made you jump too. You can't smell it from here, but there's a turd near my desk from when I first watched that video. And I'm leaving it there to remind myself of why it happened so I don't forget to be more vigilant in the future. I am not gonna clean it up until I've proven to myself that I will never be scared of a fake spider jumping on my nose again. Until then, I've got a puke bucket next to my desk for the smell. Two, three. Huh? You are, oh, I've, I've jerked off the Overwatch porn. Why is this even in the compilation? This is such a non-confession. It's like admitting to having breathed at some point in time. Yeah, everybody's inhaled and exhaled air, buddy, but we usually don't mention it because of fucking course you've done it. It's mid-basketball game too, dude. Like, Hassan was probably already thinking about it if it came up in a social environment like that one. Anyways, that's all the live stream fails for today. There's plenty more out there if you guys want a sequel, so like and subscribe with notifications on if you do. That way you'll find out when it happens if it does. Remember, don't go after anyone I talked about. This was all in good fun, and you're a loser if you go out and do all that shit. Limited time merch available on mastup.shop, first link in the description. Only a few more days left on those. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I'll see you guys next time.